How's it going, everybody? This is Beat the Bush. What is money? Why do we spend our whole life trying to obtain as much of it as we can? Maybe it's because it buys us goods and services, status, a home to live in, power. You see, as long as you're part of society, you still need to earn some amount of money in order to trade for things generated by it. Everybody needs money, but when you live a simple life, shun materialism and minimize your expenses, you tend to spend very little. Very little. So little, in fact, that when you work for more of it, it seems like a waste of time. How little are we talking about here? I'm talking about $50 a day little. That's right. I've minimized my cash outflow to about $50 every day in order to meet my financial obligations. This includes housing, HOA, home repair, utilities, everything that you can think of that cost me money. So when you think about this $50, that's about 18,000 every single year. One of the main reasons I was able to do this is because I aggressively paid down my mortgage and eventually I was able to pay off my house. Here are some of the cost saving stuff that I do. Don't buy cable, Netflix, most subscriptions for that matter. I trim insurance costs, landlines, and I even use a free cell phone. I eat very simply and avoid buying things just to show off. I use a bidet, I fix my own car, turn down the water heater, and I found out that Based on your perspective, you can even not use your central heater. You can see I'm wearing a little bit thicker than normal people would. Okay, so you think $50 is all I need, right? It gets better. I rake in tax-free money from municipal bonds, dividends, as well as interest from savings accounts. I continually sell my old stuff on eBay. I do credit card churning, savings account churning. On top of this, I have this YouTube channel that brings in earnings. All of these income sources combined meets my basic needs and also allows me for a little bit of extra savings. This is the magic point because I purposely reduce my expenses to such a low level that my passive income, any kind of income sources I try to earn becomes very easy to meet those requirements. After all, when you don't need more, you don't need to earn more. You might say, well, beat the bush, you're only able to do this because you're single. It's true, if you have kids, you're gonna have increased expenses and it's gonna make it that much harder to meet your financial obligations. You just need more passive income in order to meet your expenses. Yes, it's going to be harder. So what happened here? I quit my job and I spend many days in solitude. I find out that most of my coworkers, well, they are working. And for me, I just spend many days at home. Sometimes a week or two will pass by before I see anyone. It's interesting because I started to realize that anyone that has a full-time job, they have very, very little time during the weekday to just go hang out. This got me thinking, it is kind of lonely being by yourself, working by yourself all alone at home. People ask me, aren't you lonely? The thing is, I don't fear being alone. I feel like out of this solitude, I'm at the cusp of discovering something new, maybe about myself, maybe about new things I discover about the world. The thing is, if you do not spend all your time making money in order to chase materialism, you free up a lot of time for something else. But what is that something else? I don't need to buy a fancy car, no fancy jeans. I don't need to go to Michelin star rated restaurants. You might start to think, well, beat the bush. If you don't indulge yourself, what do you have to live for? What I realize is that most of these indulgences that people like to show off on social media either harms your body or in the end, when you think of the grand scheme of things, it does not matter at all. I guess that's why you don't see me tripping over myself to try to obtain as many subscribers as possible. It is true, the more subscribers that you have, the more money that you're gonna get, the more success, the more fame that you're gonna get. You realize that I don't pull crazy stunts that endanger my health for the sake of making YouTube videos. I make less videos these days rather than more. And in addition, you see me having a very hard time releasing finance-only related videos because this is not true to myself, although YouTube algorithms would really like that. So what do you do when you don't have to work? You don't have to spend two hours a day on a daily commute and you don't have to hustle to make ever more money. What do you do? What do I do? You start to think how small and insignificant you are in the grand scheme of things, how tiny you are on the surface of the earth and how in 100, 200 years, anything that you ever do will probably be forgotten and no one would ever remember. Now, because of all this, should you do something that matters? What does matter then? Should one try to advance human civilization or maybe save the earth from self-destruction? How about invent capitalism 2.0 or maybe alter in some way so that it does not eventually self-implode? Is it too lofty a goal for one person, too ambitious or too presumptuous to think that you can make a change so large? Is even wanting to make a change thinking too highly of yourself? Why am I making this video? I don't know. Perhaps it's because I think people on this earth is kind of like cells in your body. Each one of us nowadays is just kind of like a cell in our body interconnected by the internet. 
We are one large organism called the Earth, but each one of us may think that we're individuals, but we're interconnected with this synthetic network. Sometimes some people have certain ideas and these ideas travel through the internet and activate other people on the other side of the globe. It's kind of like our brain sending signals through our central nervous system to some muscle cells in order to contract them. We can move certain muscle cells, but not our skin cells. This is kind of like how some people, when they communicate through the internet, they will reach some people, but not others. You see, if you look down at the earth from another star, we people of this earth looks like just one big organism.